Today in the news, we got cracks in Nvidia's plan, a big misunderstanding, and CDNA 2. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. A couple of months ago, Nvidia started the war against cryptocurrency miners. No more will these crypto fiend dare steal our GPUs, they thought. And so, the company decided to implement a mining limiter to their RTX 3060. It didn't work. Nvidia messed up themselves and they freaking released a uh, beta driver that just uh, bypassed the mining limiter. But that wasn't the end. Nvidia wasn't ready to capitulate. So they took some extra steps with the release of their newest model, the RTX 3080 Ti and 3070 Ti. Nvidia implemented a new mining limiter, this time stronger and better, cutting the hash rate of these cards in half. And they weren't satisfied with that either. They re-released their whole lineup of 30 series GPUs and created what they called LHR, or light hash rate models. You can learn more about that in this video, summed up by me, so go check it out. These newly minted RTX 3060, 70, and 80 now had their hash rate slashed. And well, that's where we are now. And guess what? Miners are already starting to break the limiter already. In a recent update to the NB Miner mining software, they were able to bring that 50% hash rate up to 70%. So essentially, people with LHR cards will now get a 40% increase in their mining capabilities. Thankfully though, it's more of a crack into the limiter rather than a full-blown break. This hack only works on this mining software specifically and only with the uh, Ethereum algorithm to mine. But of course, since Ethereum is the most popular coin right now, you can bet that this boost will encourage miners to buy those 30 series cards. Plus, I mean, Nvidia still hasn't blocked some coins from being mined, such as Conflux, so there is still uh, profitability there. Speaking of Nvidia, you probably heard that their GTC keynote from back in April was entirely fake. Nvidia created a mini documentary explaining how they basically rebuilt Jensen using CG and 3D photography and had this digital double do the presentation. Well, despite what the headlines are saying, like this one and this one, it's not true. While Nvidia did confuse everyone by saying through all but 14 seconds of the hour and 48 minute presentation from 102.41 to 102.55, Huang himself spoke in the keynote. Now, sorry for the English lesson here, but the idiom all but can be understood in two different ways, but only one way is correct. And you check if it's right by changing the but in all but to accept. So Nvidia said through all except 14 seconds of the hour and 48 minute presentation, Huang himself spoke in the keynote. So it was him except for 14 seconds. And it was kind of very obvious. I mean, look at the legs here. He's fucking, this is weird, man. There was probably also a small section of CG Huang at the end when they do the whole kitchen disintegration, but it's clear that a lot of outlets got confused. Next up, let's talk AMD. The company's been working hard on creating their chiplet technology for GPUs. We saw many patents roll out in the last couple of months, and it looks like we'll see the results fairly soon. The first card to implement this technology would be the AMD Instinct MI200. Now, this is not a gaming GPU, obviously. The architecture here is not RDNA, but it's CDNA, and in that case, it's the second iteration, so CDNA2. And this model is said to feature two chiplets, each with 128 compute units. That would technically bring the stream processor count to 16,384, which is way beyond what we have now. Honestly though, CDNA and RDNA are drastically different, so I don't think we're gonna see exactly the same thing happening in RDNA 3. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And in gaming news, it looks like Rockstar is about to stretch its GTA IP even thinner. From the PS2 era, we got three games that are about to get remastered. GTA 3, Vice City, and GTA San Andreas, the last one being my favorite. What's great is that this isn't a re-release or a Nintendo-esque remaster, or God forbid, a Halo anniversary style remaster, because that one had some issues. This is, according to a source at Kotaku, a full rebuild of 
the game using Unreal Engine. Now, I don't know about you, but I played all three games on PS2 and never looked back. So playing a remastered version of those games is going to be like a brand new experience. If you're curious on what it could look like, Fat Dino over on YouTube did recreate part of the cutscenes in the game using the Unreal Engine, and it does look amazing. So let's hope Rockstar goes a step further than that. I mean, they're a multi-billion dollar company. Don't check, don't fact check me on that. And that's pretty much it for the weekend catch up guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes, the snows is out. And so I flacked out, threads on my jacket blew out the seams. So I wiped out, bruises and blues and felt like a dream. Oh, I struck out, you took me way past where I've gone. You took me to the past where I'm going now